Well, some of the biggest personalities can be found in small dogs. So, Better's teaming up with Mighty Dog to prove once and for all that size doesn't matter when it comes to loving your pet. Today, you can enter the Big Guy Small Dog Contest for a chance to be featured in the 2012 Mighty Dog calendar. But before we get to that, Jordan's introducing us to Ray and his best bud. When you see a big guy, you might expect him to own a big, ferocious dog. That's not always the case. This big guy, Raymond, is the very definition of professional. When I found him, he was juggling phones and crunching numbers while walking his dog. But as it turns out, Raymond's not all about work. In fact, one of the jobs he prizes most, spending time with his beagle, Schnooks. My job is demanding, but Schnooks is one pal I always make time for. You've already filed your 5500s. When I'm at the office, I'm, I'm taking a lot of phone calls. There's always emails. It's a pretty stressful situation. Home is different. Hey, Schnooks. As soon as I pull up, she knows I'm home. And when I walk in the door, she's always there, happy to see me. And it's a great feeling. See what the market did today? When I get home, it's nice to relax. Part of that is, is Schnooks. When I'm home, Schnooks is by my side. Whether it's sleeping, on the couch, in the kitchen, she's close by. As long as I've had her, she's just been a happy, sweet dog. Wanna go for a walk? Go in the car? So it's really great where I live uh, in the Southern California area. It's so, so dog friendly. And there's even a beach that you can bring your dogs. <coughs> she's 10 years old, but she's still got that, that bark. I try to mix her up with the big dogs because she likes to, you know, like to howl, like to get in other dogs' faces. She's not a bad dog, just likes to be playful and active. Beagles are known for their noses, and she follows her nose. Uh, that could be at the beach, it could be in the kitchen, it could be out when I'm taking a walk. She looks as a little dog, but she's also a high spirit, high energy dog. I realize she's got special needs since she's so small. I like to give her Mighty Dog. It's a food for small dogs that's packed with protein that's made for small dogs like Schnooks. I adopted Schnooks from a rescue in Missouri, and coming from where she came from in her shelter and her, her past, I think made her tough, made her a little more resilient, and made her strong. I've had such a good experience with Schnooks that I wanted to help other dogs like her. When I volunteer at the animal shelter, I'll take dogs out that are, you know, in, a, in their little pens and take them out for long walks, let them get the exercise, and get them adopted as quick as possible. Just give them a little tender loving care so that well, as long as they're here, they're getting a little more TLC than they might just normally get. That's a good thing. I feel like at the end of the day, I'm helping other animals get adopted, being taken off the street, and being safe. I've been with Schnooks for almost eight years at this point. That's a, a lot of life experience that we've gone through together. I love my dog. I don't care what size she is. I love that she's little, but she's got a lot of pep, and that's, what, that's why we're buddies. I'm Raymond, and Schnooks is my mighty dog. Another look at what mighty really means, but we know there are others like them. Do you know a big guy who loves his small dog? Are you one yourself? Go to MightyDog.com to enter the Mighty Dog Big Guy Small Dog Contest for a chance to appear in Mighty Dog's 2012 calendar. Raymond and Schnucks have already had their moment, so they can't enter, but they're looking to you to enter the contest and show what small dogs are made of. And next week, Jordan continues her mission to find big guys and the little dogs they love. We'll be right back.